Okay, friends. So, the world seems like it's just falling apart, if I'm being honest at this point. Things are just... They seem to be deteriorating extremely rapidly. In this video, I'm going to cover a bunch of different things. Not, this isn't going to be just one topic, but there's going to be a meta overarching topic, which is something like the battle against the forces of darkness. Yesterday, as I was going through different topics, I just kept saving more and more different things. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is the obvious moral decay and anti-mass moral sentiment of society, which you see here on Dr. Phil's show, where he brings on people to ask them if they can condemn the events of October 7th. Events that are not justified at all. There's no justification. No well mind, no sane human can justify the things that they did. And so to me, it's basically like asking somebody if the earth is flat or not. That's the equivalent here. I feel like I haven't spoken enough about this because there is the, you know, there's the sentiment on the right or the anti-establishment at this point, which is just anyone who isn't the anti-leftist, ultra-left-wing position that tries to, unlike the left, they don't try to take the position of the victim, but they try to take the place that is anti-establishment or, or sometimes anti-obvious conclusion. The events of October 7th were the most heinous evil events that happened on Earth probably in the last two decades. And so again, asking somebody to condemn it is like asking somebody if the Earth is flat or not. But immediately, immediately after the, the events happened that are so heinous that I can't, I, don't, I can't even say them on YouTube. I mean, what they did with infants in their cribs, families, um, as they were driving in their homes, etc. On, on the same day, that this happened and the day after leftists went to the streets by the thousands tens of thousands and chanted against jewish people chanted for the terrorists and since then we've seen radical leftists bring literal terrorists with death death to america in their flag on their streams and there is an undeniable moral and civilizational decay going on right now where people like this that i'm about to show you on dr phil's show you know, they wear the garb of religiousness. You would think that somebody who dresses like this is pious, and yet they can't condemn something that even an evil human would be able to condemn. Even a troubled human would be able to condemn. In the heinous nature, I mean, a, a, a troubled human from 2005 who, let's say, is considered an outcast and heavily mentally disturbed would still be able to condemn what's going on here. But now it is a mainstream leftist position to not be able to condemn the brutal murders and the hostage taking, etc. And the reason for that is because to even acknowledge an that an objective moral framework exists is actually regressive to their ideology. Their ideology cannot abide in that concept it, because of Marxism's alignment with postmodern ideology. Also, I just want to say, if you're paying attention on a deeper level, there's some very interesting things going on. So today there was a 4.8 magnitude earthquake in New York. That's, you know, New York. Look, if you, if you understand even 25% of what I understand, then you, you know what I'm talking about here. You understand that there aren't really serious fault lines in that part of the world if, you've, if you studied this. The day before lightning struck, the Statue of Liberty, we're five days away from the eclipse, which is going to paint a symbol over America, which you can Google. Google what symbol the eclipse is going to paint over America. Mainstream media continues to die. The insane mob continues to be insane. I mean, this is, this is eerie stuff, guys. You know what? I'm just going to show you this video because it's only 20 seconds long. Check this out. This is actually kind of terrifying because this is the left. This isn't, you know, tiki torches. This isn't Charlottesville. This is the left. And they're, in some ways, you know, you can't reason with, with a mob like this. Uh, there are a bunch of freaks, there are a bunch of outcasts. I want you to see the hatred in their faces. Look, I mean, they, they look like demons, right? They look demonic. Anyway, back to this video there is a sense of hypocrisy in those questions when our suffering is an experience of that violence and, and we are first asked to condemn violence i find that there's she dr phil just asked her if she can condemn october 7th which is again the most heinous ultra evil event that happened probably in two decades sense of hypocrisy in those questions when our suffering is not being recognized and the first thing we're asked is to condemn what do you think moral objectivism is the enemy to these people israel was going to do when Hamas 
cuts a hole in the fence and comes over the top and kills 1,300 people. What did you think they should have done? Isn't it strange, too, that that's not going acknowledged? How is that even possible that they're not even going to acknowledge that that happened? It's like they want you to forget that that happened, that they did that. I think they have every right to go in combat with Hamas, but I don't think they have the right for 92% of the death count to be civilians. If they burn an infant in a crib, do you see that as a moral equivalent to a collateral death from a bomb being dropped as an act of war. They have explicitly targeted civilian areas that have been marked as civilian areas. Israel has the registry for every person in Gaza. And if that's where... So the problem, of course, is that Hamas has embedded themselves with civilians as a military strategy, which is classified as a war crime, according to the UN. The other objective fact, which I'll leave you guys with, is that the death percentages of civilians are not higher than rural combat has been in recent wars such as the Middle East when we were taking various cities, such as even in World War II when we were combating Germany. Civilian casualties are not actually occurring at rates higher than historically have taken place in similar warfare. Where the enemy is hiding, do they have a right no. to attack them? No, they do not have the right to kill, kill. There are some things that are just fundamental human decency. And when I ask you if what happened on October 7th what he's referring to as fundamental human de decency is the morality of the West, which has enlightened the entire world. These people actually want that to die. The left actually wants that to die. They are anti-morality, they are anti-individual, they are anti-personal accountability. They hate capitalism. They actually stand against all things that the West has to offer. So when Dr. Phil says, why can't you engage basically in civilization? The answer is, is because they don't want civilization to exist. Is something you condemn and you say, well, you have to look at that by looking at hundreds of years of conflict. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's either right or it's wrong, and it was wrong. Look at them struggle to acknowledge that the event that contains so many heinous events that I can't even say on YouTube was wrong. In fact, if I were to say some of the things that they did, it might be permanently, like, mentally scarring for you guys. And I don't need a hundred years of conflict to know it was wrong. The fact wrong. of the matter is that Hamas, yes, did take innocent life. Why did Hamas take away innocent life? Why was Hamas platformed? Why was Hamas funded? Why is Hamas empowered to take away something. innocent life? Let me tell you something. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The fact is that they did. The fact is, is that they chanted, praise God, after they did it. They were ideologically driven to do what they did. Those humans exist and they, must, and they have to be removed from the planet. That is the, only, that is the only conclusion a civilized world can, can reach. When somebody comes over a fence mm -hmm. and goes into someone's house mm -hmm. and burns their infant mm -hmm. in its crib, I don't give a damn why they did so it. It's wrong. <laughs> I've read it that the charter of Hamas is to eliminate the Jewish race, beginning with Israel, but not stopping with Israel, wiping them off the face of the earth. Is that isn't, it saying that, isn't it insane that we have humans? I, I, I'm, I'm using the term human very loosely here. Isn't it insane that we have humans on talk shows where we essentially ask them the moral equivalent of, is the earth flat? and then they can't answer it. This is the architecture of evil. This is the architecture of hatred for reality. This is the architecture that has embedded itself with the left. And if you don't believe me, listen to their own words. Listen to them chant, death to the in Times Square. Listen to them bring on terrorists with death to America in their slogan, on their streams. Praise them, glorify them. We're dealing with people who actually hate the fabric of reality because guys the fabric of reality i'm just gonna let you know is is truth that's the architecture of of reality truth is the architecture of reality that's the reason why the universe is comprehensible that's the reason why we can discover things that's the reason why science works that's the reason why socrates 2000 years ago was able to derive reason from reality itself and why a civilization built on the backbone of objective morality has become the greatest civilization the world has ever seen in such a short amount of time is that true this is true but it does not end there. Now we have the problem of the pro-Palestine who are actually given Hamas cover. They are participants in the crime. In fact, since October 7, I personally don't differentiate between Hamas and what so-called Palestinians. Because actually there is no Palestinians. There are 
uh, tribes. There is the tribe of Hamas, and there is the tribe of the Islamic Jihad, and there is the tribe of Khalil. Right, and 80-something percent of the Palestinians would actually elect Hamas as their government, which is the big issue as well. And there is the tribe of Nablus, and each one has different uh, interests, and all of them are conflicted. If they did not have Israel as the common enemy, they would kill each other. Isn't that insane? I mean, what, what a failed group of people. This is the reality you of what's so called Palestine. You don't know. Oh my God. See, they've, they've actually aligned themselves with the left. Did you hear that? I mean, the response to objective arguments there is, why are you speaking as a colonizer? I'll say that again so it's really clear to you. The response to logical arguments based on reason and coherence is, why are you being a colonizer? Oh my God, how dare you point out the fact that we literally have death to in our founding documents. Oh my gosh, you're trying to oppress us with that colonizer morality. Oh my gosh. What Palestine is actually, in fact, the kefia that you are wearing, mm -hmm. this is just a statement to show that you really lack the authenticity to represent the case. And what's so called the cause, mm -hmm. you know, this is a human problem. So you just- The cause must die. I think enough is enough. And now it's proven and you are helping Hamas to prove it to the world that Palestine depends on the destruction of the state of Israel. And right. this is not- and, and, and the destruction of the psyche of any civilized human. Not acceptable and we are not going to agree to it. And I tell you something, for the next 10 or 20 years, the Palestinian people will pay the bill that Hamas is caused today and most likely in blood. To you, Hamas and Palestinians are, are the same. They're one and the same. After October 7, yes, there is no difference. Really? The vast majority of the Palestinian people support Hamas. Really? This is a fact. This is proven by statistics and your silence now. You are not even, you cannot even condemn Hamas and say that what they did on October 7 was an act of a savage group. You don't have that. Yeah, dude, look at, look at the face of evil. You're looking at the face of evil right here. Power. Said I condemn on what authority do you speak? Change. You only speak on the authority of... You're, you're, you're looking at the face of anti-civilization here, guys. Of Hamas propaganda. No, I'm... Why do you say that I'm speaking on the authority of Hamas propaganda? Because if I'm you were a decent human being, you can say that the thousands were killed on October 7. That was a crime against humanity. It was a genocide. <laughs> One thing that, I find that guys, one thing that you need to remi remind yourself of is that there are actually tens of thousands of people that are essentially cowards to the point where they've, they've been destroyed by the left-wing ideology so, so totally that they hate morality, they hate reason, they hate anything that even reminds them that reason exists. So while you do hear the audience cheering in the, in the crowd as she gets owned and destroyed and revealed as an evil human, human there are tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, globally millions of people that in accordance with the left-wing ideology will scream and shout like demons, voicing their opposition to objective morality itself and not be interested. In fact, they go out of their houses to protest without thinking of objective truth even once. It's a movement of anti-civilization. This is what Elon Musk talks about when he says the woke mind virus is anti-civilization. Guys, Mar the woke mind virus is Marxism. Marxism is the name of left-wing ideology. It denies objective morality in this alignment with postmodernism. It denies the individual and it denies individual accountability. And of course, since it denies the existence of objective frameworks, it denies any concept of truth because truth would judge them. And if you're being judged, then an individual identity is mandated and you have to take personal responsibility in order to interface with that objective truth. It's all untenable to Marxism. This is the reason why they are anti-civilization. I remember being in these extreme leftist circles, even back in 2017, 2016, where the anti-reality position wasn't that obviously stated and yet you could still and yet it was still there you could still easily see it because whenever you would talk about truth whenever you would mention objective truth and it would go outside of their ideology they would get angry they would get uncomfortable they would say things like why are you bringing that up why are you talking about that but isn't it more important to view things in terms of the victim dichotomy objective truth was actually never important to those that pretend as though victimhood and inverted intersectionalist hierarchies determine virtue of course, there are people waking up to just how bad things are, are getting. There are humans that, that are not ultimately anti-civilization. I think The Rock is one of those people. There are a lot of misguided liberals. With. The last election, The Rock did come out and just totally condemn. Right. And he's one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. But now, when asked to condemn.
as he has been by hundreds of people at this point, probably his handlers and other people in the industry, he's refused. He says he's not going to endorse anybody. We'll end the video with this. Check this out. There is there is change happening. You made that endorsement in 2020. Are you happy with the state of America? Am I happy with the state of America right now? He's asked directly if he's happy with the state of America right now. Well, that answer is no. Do I believe we're going to get better? I, I believe in that. I'm an optimistic guy, and I, I believe... He's on Fox saying he's not happy with the current state of America. We know who controls America right now. We can get better. Um, the endorsement that I made uh, years ago with... Guys, people, even people that are brainwashed and not really able to conduct even level one analysis using logic or reason are aware that things are really bad. And they're asking questions. They're finding channels like this. They're finding other channels of truth. And I, I, I'll, I'll, say the, I'll say this, guys. It's very important you understand that you're living in a world where 50% of the population or thereabouts will actually say the opposite of reality to you because their interests are aligned with the opposite of truth. This is hard to understand because it's relatively new. Near 50% of the population will look you in your face and say the opposite of reality because they think that their ideology is more important, more valuable than the truth. You must be aware of this. So subscribe to channels that are willing to speak the truth against all odds. My channel is being censored. The deformed woke mind virus people in high places get angry when people speak the truth, but I'm going to continue to do it. So subscribe to this channel and also subscribe to any other channel that is that is willing to undergo the personal risk to speak objective truth. If Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. And I thought back then, when we talk about, hey, Rock basically confirms he doesn't like Biden now. Uh, you know, I, I'm in this position uh, where I have some influence and it's my job then. I felt like that then. It's my job now to exercise my influence and share with this. This is who I'm. It's such a corporate statement. It's it's so clearly written out to not be too provocative. And yet the message is still clear. He is not willing to condemn. Trump, and he says the current place that we're in is not good. We know that the rock would be happy if was elected. People are waking up. Guys, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.